Uh, we are here in Colombia Village, beautiful Colombia Village in the Toledo District. Um, we are here with the Alcalde from the village. So Alcalde, you could tell us your name and how long you've been Alcalde. Well, um, for her talk, um, just for maybe about not one year yet, I started to be our Alcalde. I'm very glad when people appoint me. So I try to do my best to see how far I can do my job. Okay. And um, your name? My name is Sally Gorokoy. Yeah. I'm chairman of the Alcala Association. Of the Alcala Association. Um, yeah, I am the elected Alcala from Santa Ana Village. From Santa Ana Village. Okay, Alcala from Colombia. Maybe you could tell us why, why are we here this evening? Well, I invite you all to come participate in my meeting because I'll invite you to come to listen to what I'm um, we'll have to speak to the people then. What will they be talking about? Well, this is my first my meeting that I plan that we will issue some meeting with the um, people there with the hydro. The hydro. Okay, tell us about the hydro. Well, that we have um concern with the hydro that burned to the forest. We are trying our best to see how we can stop it. Mr. Koi, uh, um, you are the chief alcalde, so you are basically the alcalde of the alcalde. Yes. And what's your opinion on this? Um, I am here to facilitate the meeting. Uh, as he said earlier in his few words, that we always try to work with our alcaldes that they should know and monitor what is happening around the community. Do you we feel disrespected too that they, they did not contact? Yes, the alcaldes feel, feel disrespected. We feel disrespected right. that they were not contacted before they, any they, work they began in if, their community. If any activity should uh, proceed in any community or around the communities, yes. they should uh, consult the people first. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the Belizean public? Well, we only want to find out with the villagers if they say okay that they can continue when I cannot say anything more then I can stop to worry about it yes. if they say my people say no we need to stop them well yeah. and your personal opinion what do you feel about the hydro do you think they should continue or they should not well continue? no we are here in beautiful Colombia village with Miss Lucille Alamia and Bartolo Toyol both from the Yaxche Conservation Trust Yaxche Conservation Trust is charged with the management of the Bladen Nature Reserve Miss Alamia, can you tell us why you are here in Colombia on a Sunday afternoon? Um, we were invited by the Alcalde of San Pedro, Colombia to make a presentation on our um, findings about this research permit that was granted um, to conduct uh, studies at the Blade Nature Reserve for a hydro dam. We have read in the papers that the company had gone into the area that you all manage and you all had been in there to investigate. Can you tell us a little bit about the investigation? We know that um, Bartolo, you were part of that investigation, right? Can you tell us a little bit about the investigation? Well, actually we organized, I think it was on the 12th of August, along with FD, uh, represented from the Department of Environment. And um, we took our scientist, Nick Wood, along with Paul Walker, who is the lead consultant for the Columbia River Forest Reserve, and the alcalde of San Pedro Colombia accompanied us on that um, a hike. And we went in to see primarily what was going on. This is inside the Blade Nature Reserve. Inside right? both is Columbia River, because you need to cross Columbia River Forest Reserve before you enter Blade Nature Reserve. Yeah. No, you are the manager of the Nature Reserve. Were you consulted before these activities took place inside your managed area? None whatsoever. None uh, whatsoever. None. Nobody consulted you? No, so we you were consulted. We were told about um, consideration to grant a research permit after, after the fact, after this. Um, so in, reality, so in, real, in reality, you are saying that the people who entered the reserve entered it illegally? Yes, they entered it illegally. They camped illegally. Um, they were completely breaking all the laws that govern the nature reserve. They decide to go and set up operations in an area that they have no idea who managed the area or who the area belongs to. And that's what they claim. Actually on the map they have, the area that is now Blade Nature Reserve is still uh, referred to as a Maya Mountain Forest Reserve. But nobody knows of any permits that they got to go in there. Actually they had 
admitted that they did not get any additional permit except the one that was granted to them in December of uh, 08, which was a, a concessionary agreement for them to go and do a uh, feasibility study in the area. As far as the environmental damage, has anyone arrived at a cost? Like we know the other day when a uh, cruise ship hit the reef, within a few days there was a cost to the yes. environment. The, a, a conservative cost for recovery of that area is 125,000. 125,000. Will there be any effort to recover that 125,000 from the uh, company to uh, help mitigate some of the effects of from well, the damage? All that really lies in the hand of Forest Department because at the end of the day they are the regulatory agents. Um, we are the co-managers, we partner with them, but they are the ones who really need to enforce the laws. So far, you guys are managing a very important watershed and a very important nature reserve that is world renowned. Um, has there been any studies to determine the quality of the water in the river now prior to any kind of development? We, we're not aware of any studies being done on the Central River where this, um, this research permit has been granted on. In fact, we don't even know if the Central the River in fact drains into the Rio Grande watershed, which is what the permit gives them permission to, uh, to explore. Right. So you, you think uh, that it's very important that there are studies that's conducted on the health of the river and the entire ecosystem before anything can be done? Exactly. Anything else you'd like to say, Bart? I think we said enough for now. Yeah. <laughs> First off, I'd like to thank uh, the Honorable uh, Juan de Joy and uh, Mr. Koch and uh, for inviting me here today. I would uh, like to go ahead and, and try to clarify some of these issues that uh, clearly um, are misunderstood. The, uh, the damn issue that people keep talking about is a misconception, okay? We're not, we're not doing any hydroelectric facility. I know it's all we're doing is a study. We're gathering information so that we can make a clear assessment. Respectfully, I, I would like to go back to, the, to, to what you shared. You said that in your view, uh, you did not create uh, any major damage, but I think it is contrary to what you know the assessment is saying that was carried out by the Asche Conservation Trust. My question is, you are saying that currently you are just doing a study. Why was there the need to produce so much so much Why was there the need to produce so much road? Secondly. One of the things that I am very much concerned about is that you said that you have been in this country and you, you, you have uh, been involved in development. My question is, who was advising your company recently in this project? Who was supporting you in this project? Because there are more questions than answers that we have at this moment. And if you are, con if you are only con conducting a study, there was absolutely no need in my view to produce so much road and create so much damage. The Forestry Department does not grant any concession. After June the 15th, all concessions are closed because we know that those areas are prone to erosion and it will affect the waterways. I mean, who in earth would go in during the highest peak of rainfall to go in and confuse that area? I, I, you know, I'm perplexed. I don't really want to reach conclusion, but I want to say this. Since our forest is pristine, system <coughs> needs to do, need to be leased just as it is. Because what I want to say if this forest continues to, to be damaged, we will experience what our brothers and sisters in the north are experiencing in the Kaya district. I only wanted to, to remind you that we have several damages that we've gone there that was happening in, 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 in the Kaya district. And a lot of people were arguing. And we also experienced with